the donkey walk from the cross and the second half substitute for the Sofa Paka side making it one goal here. What a goal here by Sofa Paka. The second half substitute, Ronaldo Koth is a super sub and uh, encouraging his players that uh, we could pull something from it. The COVID pandemic has really affected us in terms of maybe training and maybe even attending the league games. Plus, I, I think the most important thing is uh, we are not we are not able to train as we are used to because right now we are totally on a different training, uh, let me say, training level. So we find that we are really losing a lot, not just in terms of maybe playing the league matches and maybe trying to help the club achieve its ambitions. Uh, personally, I think I've, I've really lost a lot because uh, the type of training that I'm now used to is not the same one. It's not at the same level with the ones with the, the with the likes of the, the way we train at, at our club level. So it just really maybe took us a, a step back. But I think it's worthwhile because I mean uh, our health should always be our health, and I mean that's our first priority. So we're just really trying as much as possible to keep fit, though it's not easy. It's so hard to adapt. It's so hard to adapt. But I think with the, with the discipline, you just have to push yourself because again. Uh, Nobody's monitoring you, it's you who's monitoring yourself. So again, if you're not really disciplined enough, you can't follow the routine that you've given or you can't follow the, the training set, schedule that you've been given. So it's so hard to adopt, but I think uh, I'm, I'm really trying to keep up because again, the tempo and uh, the, with no coach around to monitor me or no uh, fitness manager to monitor me, it's so difficult. But again, I just have to get used to it. Generally, I train like uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, that's uh, every day, or maybe rest, maybe once a week. So it's I train the, the, the different things I train on, maybe strength, endurance, uh, uh, balance, speed, stamina. So like uh, it, 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 it it varies from one day to other. So it's all about just 30 minutes, and maybe uh, I do maybe each training and maybe two reps or two repetition of each training, and for 20 30 minutes, and I think I'm done. For my strength training, I use, I use my mask. It's called an altitude training mask because it's like I'm training in a high altitude area. So it creates that environment that you're training in a high, uh, high, altitude, uh, high altitude area. So basically I use, maybe I use the tire to try and maybe pull in some weight. And also I try and uh, use the cones to try and balance, do some balancing. Uh, so it really varies. And also I use maybe my rollers to try and maybe do the, uh, pull, pull the roller back and forth and then also I, I also try and uh, maybe do some sit-ups and I'm done with the strength. For the speed work I normally use the cones to try and do the speed work and also for endurance I try and maybe do the long jogging maybe like a 20 minutes jog all around the neighborhood and I'm done for the day. The difference definitely you are gaining a lot of you're gaining some weight because again uh, the tempo that you're training it at home is, is different with the is different with the training that uh, the, the, the training tempo that you're used to at work. So there's a big difference because, just like I said again before, there's no coach to, ma to monitor you. Again, for yourself, I don't, you, you, you don't get to play football in, like, in a big area, like to game situation. And then also, like you're training alone, you don't have any teammate or maybe colleague to train with. So maybe unless I train with my, <laughs> my security dog around here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there's a big difference because generally I'm just training alone. I'm just training alone and uh, uh, again, it takes a lot of discipline and focus to maybe just try and commit yourself to this training uh, routine that I should be maybe doing every day. Well, I think it's all about in, it's, it's all about how mentally strong you are because you don't really have to go to the gym in order for maybe to train. You can create your own little gym somewhere. Or you can create your own little work, 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 workout space. So all you need probably is just some very basic things. Maybe you can get even a tire. You can get maybe you can buy cones, which are actually are so cheap for like some few uh, uh, hundred shillings, you have your, your set of cones and you can also get your mask and I think you're good to go. All you just need is a space for you to work out and you can even, uh, uh, but if you can't afford the cones and everything, you can, you can just improvise things. You can get maybe uh, the tins, the, the bottles and you can use them as a cone. They can replicate cones and you're good to go. So all you need is just some very few things, basic things that are affordable, that are quite reachable and you're good to go.